afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video I will be working from A Million Little Monsters by Lulu Mayo and this is for our channel community body colour for the month of October. Um, and this is the page that um, I had chosen for us to colour together. Now as you can see I have gone in just with a few water based markers and put a, a base of colour in a few areas. So what I would like to do today is go in with my Prismacolor pencils um, and add some shading and also some gen, some gen, oh my goodness, some gel pen details. So um, yeah, I just thought we would just jump in and get started. So how is everyone? How are you guys all doing? I hope everyone's doing well and that you're having a lovely October so far. Just picking out some colours a second. Okay. Um, so yeah, just because this is a, a body colour and not the um not a colour along, I won't be giving like colour names or anything like that. Do I need to adjust my light here a second? Maybe. Oh, hi Link. You're gonna have to move me, sweetheart. <laughs> You're gonna have to move. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, over this way. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my word. He's knocked half the pencils off the desk. Right. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I hope I hope you're all doing well and enjoying October so far. Mine hasn't been the best. Um, I'm just having a really bad flare up at the moment um, with my arthritis, but this flare up seems to be lasting quite some time. Um, and I'm just a little bit worried that, you know, it's going to go on for a while now because we're coming in for the colder weather. And that always, you know, makes my pain worse as well. But you just have to muddle through it as best you can, don't you? I feel like I've been quite productive with my colouring this month so far i'm recording this on monday the 14th of october um i think so far i think i've got about nine ten pages done something like that maybe 11 I'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah, I've been working on getting some pages finished as well. Um, I'm sort of really focusing on body colours. Because I don't want to run into the problem I did before where I just took on so many um, and I just got overwhelmed. And I, I just couldn't catch up. So I ended up sort of cancelling them all. Sort of wiping the slate clean as it were. Um, but yeah, I, th I feel like I'm doing well so far. I think the only ones that I'm kind of struggling to catch up with is the World Literature book by Eerie that I'm doing with the gorgeous Geordie from Geordie Colours and Julianne from Julianne Annette Art. They're both here on YouTube, so anyone who I mention with a YouTube channel or anything at all um i will i will link them in the video description for you um yeah so i've got like this month's page to do but i'm still trying to catch up on a page from before 
and I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like how the page is coming out at all and it's just making me feel quite disheartened and not want to go back to that page, but I really need to get it done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a bit, mm, like, stressing out a little bit with that one, but it, it'll get done. It'll get done. This month's page is, you know, that'll be fine. I made a start on that page um, last night, the night before. Yeah, I think it, it might have been Saturday night, actually. Um, so I've made a start on that one. Um... And then the other one is um, it's a big group, full book, colour along. Um, and I think it's it's hosted by Jamie, Jamie's Colouring Love, I believe. I'm not sure if she's got co-hosts with her as well. But it's the Eerie World Literature book. And I'm still on the first two pages where you sort of like, where you meet the character and stuff. I'm still on that. I did chip away a little bit at it last night. Um, I've got a buddy colour with the beautiful K from Colouring with K this month, which I'm so excited about. Um, I haven't done a buddy colour with K in quite a while. So we're going to be working from A Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. Um, and again, I started that page last night as well. And I am really, really enjoying that one so far. So I think I'm going to, you know, work on that one tonight. Um, I worked on a long-standing body colour. Um, it's been a whip for quite a while. From the large square Disney Mandala book. Um, and that is a body colour with my partner, Connor. We started that. Oh, months and months ago. Link, you need to be careful, buddy. There's a candle. Yeah, that's it. Good boy, over that way. Well done. Um, yeah, we started that one oh, months ago. Um, but I've just got to finish shading two of the eels on that page, and then it's done. Um... Yeah, I don't think Connor's got a lot to do to his page either. So that'll be done soon. So I am getting there with buddy colours, slowly but surely. I think Connor and I are also going to work on a Hocus Pocus page. That we started last month, I think. Um, and then we've also got a Monsters Inc. page in the Disney Graffitis book that we started quite some time ago as well but you know we don't we don't ever put a time limit it's just kind of like as and when with with those you know I, d I don't feel pressure from any of my buddies really I don't I don't want you guys to think think that um but it's, it's just me I I panic and I worry you know and so yeah I've got a lot to keep me busy and um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it yet I did upload a video where it was like my colouring plans for autumn and there was a lot <laughs> um, but I, I think I'm doing okay I'm, I'm doing pretty good I'm, I'm happy with the progress that I'm making at the moment which is um, which is good yeah I just think this page is so cute and um, when I saw this in this book and I was like yeah okay that's the one I'd like us to do for Halloween but I know that lots and lots of people have already coloured this page 
Um, but if you are joining along with the channel community buddy colour, you're joining along with this page, then thank you. I hope you're, you're having fun. Please feel free to share your pages on Instagram. With the hashtag Kate's Community BC 2024. I would love to see your beautiful, beautiful pages. It always um, cheers me up as well when um, when I look on online under like hashtags or whatever that I've created, and I see what you know what people are, are doing, and yeah, it just really, really lifts my spirits. As I mentioned, I've not been not been doing the best lately. Um, just sort of with my pain, and then there's just other things going on. So it's things continue to be difficult. But as I mentioned, just have to try and push through and plod along as best you can. But I'm not gonna lie, some days it's um, harder than others. What's the matter? What? What's the matter? I'm sorry, was I not talking to you? I apologise. You, no, you, no, there's a candle over there, sweetheart. You can't go over there, bud. You, no, you cannot go over there. Okay, I'm going to blow this candle out because he is determined. Right, there you go. And now you're going to lay there. Typical, I've just blown my candle out for you. I just blow my candle out for you, monkey. No, chin scratches. Okay, you happy now? <laughs> happy now? You good boy. Um. Yeah. So, like I said, you just have to keep plodding through. But some days are are harder than others but I'm trying to you know keep myself busy and you know distract myself I, I watch I love watching like everyone's YouTube videos and stuff and I've found some new channels recently that I'm really really enjoying so yeah, that, you know, it, it helps, it's a distraction. Um, and so is colouring and, and doing videos for the channel and stuff. So I am grateful that I have things to, to lean on to help me get through, you know, those, those trickier times. So what have you guys all been up to? What's your plans for the week? I need to go and get some groceries at some point. Um, just some bits that we've kind of like run out of. I need to book um, an appointment for the kids' parents' evenings, which I think is next week. They break up for half term next Thursday. Um, but I'm really excited because my youngest and I 
we're going to travel up to Scotland on the Saturday. So we're going up to see Connor for a few days, which will be really, really exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to see him. It will be lovely. Um, and then when I get back from Scotland, I really want to knuckle down and focus on Christmas. Um, you know, okay, um, I do like that, but I don't want to add a little bit of yellow, I think I might just, just a smidge on the Just a little bit, and also here. Um, yeah, like I said, so we're you know we're making it work. But when I get back, I'll just be throwing myself into all things Christmas. Um, you know, start getting presents and everything sorted. Um. I just feel like I've got so much to do and like so little time. Does anyone else feel like that? <laughs> it just feels like it's coming around so quickly that I haven't had time to kind of catch my breath and, and get as organised as I'd like to. And so yeah, when I get back from Scotland, Christmas will be um my main <laughs> my main focus. Um I think I'm gonna get a jelly roll here jelly roll metallic i'm gonna do purple and i'm gonna put purple spots on uh, on this pumpkin because why not i love my jelly roll pens. Absolutely love them. Anything I use in this video, the book, the prisoner colours, jelly rolls, anything at all, um, I will link in the video description for you as well. So if you are interested, the links will be there. Um, as always, the Amazon UK links, they are affiliate links. So if you purchase through them, I get a tiny bit of kickback if you purchase through that link. It's not obligatory, um, but if you do use the link, it doesn't cost you any extra. and It just helps a little bit. So if you do decide to do that, then a huge, huge thank you in advance. Um, any other links like UK, um, sorry, US, Canada, anything like that, they're not, they're not affiliate links, it's just the UK. That looks really cute. Okay, yeah, I like that. That is adorable. Um, I don't know whether I want to paint the background or not. Part of me, I do, but then another part of me is like, hmm. Sure, I do. I have to have a think about that one. You're okay. You're fine. So we'll just move on to this pumpkin. You're absolutely fine, my love. You're fine. What's all the fuss for? Huh? What's all the fuss about? Oops. I'm going to say hi. <laughs> You're on my page, bud. You going to sit down or lay down? You can sit there if you want to. Just not on... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Be 
can't see. I can't see what Mama's doing. not going to be able to see what I'm doing, dude. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You sit there. Sit there for me. That was it. Good job. I might have to pause the video and give somebody some snuggles for five minutes. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, my loves, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just uh, giving Link some pets for a minute. So he's just laid down just over here, just at the side of me now. So he's there on the side of the desk, just chilling for a minute. No doubt until he wants attention again. <laughs> That is okay. He wants attention, I'm happy to give it. So yeah, this page might not necessarily be completed on camera, um, but that's okay. Um, and then I've just got some more Halloween videos to do. And also our other page from Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson. Um, that's our full book, Colour Along. So for those of you who are new to the channel, um, we are working our way through Tales from the Witch's Cottage by Hannah Carlson as a full book, Colour Along. Um, we've done two pages so far um i only started this in september um so we've done two pages we're working or going to be working on our third because one page that we did the beginning of this month it didn't take long at all i think all in all um it took just over an hour didn't take too long to do really at all um <clears throat> and um yeah if you would like to participate then um please feel free to use the hashtag kate's witch's cottage along and um yeah feel free to share your pages um, I do select pages each month for us to work on, um, but if you've already coloured those pages and you want to do something different, by all means, you know, go go for it. There's no, you know, no rules that are set in stone or anything like that. All I ever ask is that you guys just have fun and enjoy. Um, but I've seen quite a lot of people on YouTube doing full book colour alongs and I just thought it seemed like such a lovely idea um, and especially to sort of get you guys involved um, you know um, so I, yeah I wanted to get my community involved um, something that we can all sort of do together work on together and enjoy so yeah, I hope if you are participating, I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, so I'm just going around these bits on this pumpkin's eyes at the moment. I'm just going with our next colour. Do you know, I don't think I've ever used Prismacolors in a Lulu Mayo book. I'm not sure. I don't think I have. And I've got to say, I think they're working really, really well. I do struggle with my Black Widows 
in the Lulu Mail books. Um, but yeah, I'd like to try some other pencils. Maybe I'll um, give my Pablo pencils a try because I don't use them anywhere near enough. Um, I find they're quite particular with what paper I can kind of get them to work well for me on. But I've been really, really wanting lately to do a um, follow one of um, the lovely Karen from uh, Colourful Country Life. I've been really wanting to follow one of her colour alongs recently. Um, and I know she does a lot of work with her Prisma pencils and I just thought I'd really, really like to, to have a go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to look back through her videos and see what sort of what page and book appeals to me and uh, take it from there. In November, um, I am going to be concentrating on my whips. Um, I was speaking to Connor the other night and I was like saying about how many whips I've got and it's like really stressing me out and stuff. Um, I started the year with like, I think it was like 180 odd whips. And I've done a lot, I managed to get a lot done, but I've also created a lot and I'm back up to like 180 something. So I don't feel like I've achieved anything with my whips this year, which is a bit disheartening really. So he said, you know, why don't next month you use that and sort of really try and, you know, get, just focus on getting some whips done. And I was like, do you know that's actually a really good idea so I will still be doing of course the you know the witch's cottage colour along I will still be doing that that won't change um but yeah I'll be working on some whips um which will be nice if I can really try and kind of bring that number down um but I've got a record of everything um <coughs> And sort of like you know so I know that I'm going into the new year organized and I know exactly where I am with my books and my whips and my untouched books and whatnot so that's um that's a good thing Yeah, if, if you guys have got whips, do you know how many you've got? <laughs> do, you, do you keep track of them? Or are you one of those amazing people who you don't like having whips? You have to complete a page. You don't, you know, you don't like having having whips hanging over you. Because I feel like that, but yet yeah, I've still got lots. And I, I, I don't, I, I want to get to the point where I don't, I don't have whips. And if I do, it's maybe like a handful you know, I just feel like 186 whips is just ridiculous. I just feel like that's, that's too much. <laughs> But um, yeah, also of an evening, just to sort of help me chill out and whatnot. Um, if I'm not watching YouTube videos from you guys, then I enjoy watching true crime um, and listening to people's stories. But sometimes I must admit, sometimes it gets a bit, it gets a bit much, and I have to kind of take a break. 
Um, <clears throat> but the thing I think I enjoy about it is that I haven't got to watch the screen necessarily. I can I can just listen to the stories. Um, so I can colour whilst listening to that. So that is something that I do really enjoy doing. Looking cute. Um, let me think. Um, do I want to do metallic or glitter on him? Um, should we do metallic? So we'll do the metallic green on this little dude around his eyes. Again, this is a jelly roll. I will put some bling on this page as well um, once we're done. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave those pumpkins for a minute. I'm kind of tempted to come in and shade like these little ghosts. So I think what I'm going to do <coughs> is um let me see I might use that one and that one so I'm just gonna just quickly sharpen these pencils a sec So I think what I'm going to do with the ghosts is with a slightly darker blue I'm going to kind of like outline them but like leave a, a white gap, does that make sense? So kind of like still following the lines of the artwork. like that and then with this blue I'm just going to really gently sort of like whack that colour into the page but only a little bit sort of just around where I've put, put that line 
and just really, really gently gradiate it out. Said, just I'm just making little circles with this slightly darker blue colour that I'm using around the edges and then gradiating it out and then I'm going to go in with my really really pale blue and where those edges are I'm just going to sort of diffuse those out I just think this looks really cute. Um, I think what I might do as well is just go around the, the edges, like the white, maybe with them um, like a, a clear um, jelly roll stardust, or maybe just like a clear glaze or something, just to, just to give a tiny little bit of shine, a little bit of something. see what I'm doing. And then again I'm just going to go in with my pale blue and just diffuse that out. So yeah, I don't think this page is going to take me too long to finish. I think the thing that will probably take the time is the cats. Um, I was going to do this one ginger, but then I'm thinking there's already a lot of orange going on on the page. So I'm going to colour him like Link, my tabby boy, and then I think I'm going to do this guy here, grey. Grey floof ball. <laughs> Okay, and then I think just to finish that off, I'm going to go in with the Prismacolor White in the centre and just blend that right in. And pull it over those other colours as well, just to give us a, a nice clean look. So that is how I am doing the ghosts on the page. So I think I am going to leave the page here for today. Um, but yeah, I don't know about you guys. I think it's turning out quite cute. Um, so if you are joining along, don't forget to share your page with me on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag Kate's Community BC 2024. Um, thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe my loves, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye!